In today's video, we'll learn about slices and different levels of filters in Power BI. A slicer is a type of filter that allows users to interact with the report or dashboard. It provides a way to make selections and refine the data that is displayed in the report. From the Build Visual panel, click on the Slicer option. While the slicer is selected, drag the Category column and drop it into the field box. A slicer for Category field will be created. This slicer will allow users to control all the visuals in this report. If we select any of these options, the report will dynamically update to display data related to the chosen category. For example, if we select technology, the bar chart will show total sales in each region for the technology category. The pie chart will be updated to show the technology sales ratio for each segment. And the monthly trend will also be updated for the selected category. Similarly, if we select office supplies, all the visuals will be updated to show only office supplies data. By pressing Ctrl, we can select multiple options from the slicer. If we select furniture and technology together, the charts will show the cumulative data for these two categories. If we click on this eraser button, the slicer will be cleared from selections. While selecting the slicer, go to the Format Visual option. From the slicer settings, we can change the style of the slicer. Right now, it is oriented as a vertical list. We can change the style of the slicer into Tiles View. Or, we can make the slicer as a drop-down menu. We can also change the selection option. We can change the slicer selection style as a single select only. We can show a select all option too. From Slicer Header option, we can change the header text of the slicer. We can also stylize the options of the slicer, like changing the font style, background color, and many more. This type of slicer can be created for all types of categorical fields. Let's see an example of a date field slicer. Now, drag the order date field. This slicer will allow users to filter visuals based on order date time period. Select March 1, 2011 as the start date and May 31, 2011 as the end date. It will filter all the visuals to show data only from within that specific time range from the beginning of March to the end of May 2011. In slicer settings, we can set before and after style to the slicer. In the after style method, if we select any specific date, all the visuals will display data after that specific date. Similarly, for before style, the visuals will display data before that specific date. The filter pane is used to apply filters on the report. This filtering can be done in three levels. Filter for a specific visual. 
filter for the current page, or filter for the entire file. Now let's select the column chart, drag the category field into filters on this visual section. Expand the category. Set the filter type as basic filtering. Here we can select the category we want to filter in the visual. Choose technology. Now the column chart will only show total sales from technology across different regions. Now, expand the region field. Set the filter type as top end. Set top 5. In the value field drag the sales column. Apply filter. The column chart is only showing the top 5 sales region and their values. Similarly, if we select bottom 5, the chart will show the bottom 5 sales region and their values. Again, set the filter type as advanced filtering. Set contains, west. The chart will show only the west region's value. Set does not contain Asia. It will remove Central Asia, Southeast Asia, and North Asia from the chart. Expand the sales field. Set here logic is greater than 800,000. The chart will show all the regions that have sales over 800,000. We can set many other types of conditional logic to filter any visual. Drag the country field into its filter on this page. Select Afghanistan, Algeria, Austria, Bolivia, and Cambodia. As a result, all the visuals on this page is showing data only for the selected countries. Similarly, we can set filters for the entire document for all pages. There is a feature called Visual Interaction, which determines how visuals can influence each other. If we select an item in one chart, it will filter or highlight related data in other charts. Let's select the U.S. region in the pie chart. We can see that, in the column chart, the U.S. region sales are highlighted. In the card visual only the total sales from U.S. region are displayed. Similarly, the trends are also showing only U.S. region data. All the visuals will be highlighted based on the selected item in any of the visuals. Now, select any item from the column chart. If we closely look at the pie chart, it is highlighting the data related to the selected item from the column chart. We can customize the way of interaction between these charts. Click on the column chart, go to the Format tab, and select the Edit Interactions button. Interactions between charts can be set in three ways. Filter, Highlight, and none. If we choose filter, we can see that the entire pie chart will show data related to the selected item in column chart. If we choose highlight, the pie chart will highlight the data related to the selected item. If we choose none, the pie chart will not interact with the column chart anymore. Whatever we select in the column chart, the pie chart will remain unchanged. Similarly, 
while selecting a filter if we apply the None option for Pi and Line chart. The filter will stop affecting these charts. It will only interact with the bar chart. Visual interactions allow us to set and customize the interactions between multiple charts and elements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.